I'm Tom with Advanced Screen Technologies and in um, all the items we have in our toolkit, uh, this is a particularly unique one that's used for uh, doing small scale screen restretching. Uh, it's known as the Diamond, Ta Diamond Chase Tension Quick and uh, has a lot of versatility to be able to uh, stretch uh, manual size frames as well as uh, auto size, which means a 2024 up to uh, 2331. Uh, today we're going to stretch up a standard manual size frame. Uh, the Tension Quick assembly uh, essentially comes with uh, four stretcher bars, which kind of work like gold style Lincoln logs. They slide into channels on each of the bar sides so that you can set the stretcher up to be able to telescope down to the actual size that you want to stretch. Simply by this bar resting down into a channel that sits at the end of its um, uh, next door neighbor so that it slides right down in and these then can slide against each other and this assembly will then let you telescope the bars down to the actual size that you're going to be stretching. So they contract and expand. Um, now you'll notice the height of the bars themselves uh, sit a little bit higher than what a normal frame does. So it has a lot to do with the fact that people work with different size frame thicknesses and allows you to be able to shim the frame up to where it actually comes up to the stretching surface. Uh, the stretcher itself is an, uh, one of the original roller chase designs uh, made by Diamond Chase and goes back 40 to 45 years. Um, uh, even before roller frames existed. There's a roller channel that a roller sits in and this is actually a channel which holds the mesh and can rotate. Um, so we've got four of those on each side of the frame and they're going to be pulling across the tops of these stretcher bars uh, to bring the screen mesh up to desired tension. So since the frame is a little bit on the thin side, it'll help to have uh, shims to be able to raise the frame up. In this case we're just going to work with uh, scraps of squeegee blade and that kind of gets us up close but you'll notice that we're still sitting about a quarter of an inch down below the actual edge of the stretcher bar and we want to get to a point where that frame sits uh, about an eighth of an inch up above the bar. So I've got trusty little paint sticks uh, that have been cut down into shims and we're just putting those on top of those scrap squeegee blocks that we had. And that pretty much gets us up to a frame height that has the frame sitting just a little bit above the stretcher bar surface. That way when we stretch the mesh across the frame and we're getting ready to glue it down, we won't end up gluing the screen mesh to the actual stretcher bars themselves. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in one more shim just to stabilize the frame so it doesn't rock back and forth. And so once we've got our frame in position, um, it's simply a matter of loading this screen mesh into these uh, roller frame channels.